Hey Fire Monkey, welcome back to One Shot, the Solstice Chapter. Previously we found the secret route, which started a whole new storyline, but this playthrough brings a lot more danger with it. We lost people in the mines, and Nico was the only one who made it out. So, have we met... Ah, there we go, that's the exit probably. Or well, almost at the exit. <laughs> I think I remember something. I remember what I did at the end. I remember putting in the sun. And then everything got really bright. I don't remember a lot of the details. But none of it matters now, does it? I just got brought back anyway. Aww. Come on, Nico, we can do this one final time. Wait, where did we end up? Oh, wait. Looks like parts of the ground is missing. I wonder if it's safe to walk across these vines. One way to find out, I guess. Yep, they're safe. I believe I recognize where this is. This is the power plant, right? Oh no, this is the ruins where the kids live. I don't think I have to go through these ruins first. I first am going... Oh. Oh, that's not good. We have to go through there. Unless there is another way. Isn't that the city gate? Yes. It's... Yep. Pretty much... <laughs> blocked off. Can we actually pass through here? We can at least pass. Can we still use the robot though? Yeah. This is not good. This is not good at all. Also, this should be... Yeah, there is a pad. Okay, good. Don't... Oh, wait, the bridge is broken now too. Is there still a way up here? No. Which means there's only one way. Yeah, we do have to go through here. That's already quick. The deeper ruins are ahead. Do know that they are partially flooded. That we already knew. So, if this... I wonder if anything new will have popped up. Oh wait, the vine's already gone. There should have been vines here, right? Oh no, it's also blocked off. That's not good. That's not good at all. Does that mean that the... Oh no, and this is also blocked off. Oh no, I can at... Oh. <laughs> I can at least get through. Oh no, everything... Everything is blocked off. Um... That might be problematic. Can't go over there need either. I wonder if this already got fixed. Oh, but please, please, Nico. This time you need to just kick that block out of the way. The pathway is blocked. By blocks. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, this time she's gonna kick it. I remember something about this. Yes! Never knew it'd be so easy! Ow, my foot! Ow! <laughs> Come on, Nico. Just beat through the pain. Oh, yeah, they can't get into their house now. Oh, the door. I knew we'd lose our home eventually, but I wasn't expecting it to happen so soon. Oh, jeez. Are you guys okay? Oh my stars! You're the savior? Um, uh, it's an honor to meet you. Yes! I'd invite you inside, but as you can see, your home is... It's got squares in it. Yes, Alula, thank you. It's getting everywhere now, isn't it? Hmm? The squares, they're way more than ever before. Even the gate at the refuge is destroyed now. That didn't happen last time. Last time? Shh, they don't know, Nico. Uh, 
Nothing. I almost let that slip, Dart. Yeah, we noticed. Guess I should reintroduce myself again. My name is Nico. N Nico? Oh gosh, uh, would it not be rude to call you by name? No worries, Calamus. How did you know my name? I am, um, uh, not again. Nico, just tell him that I, the creator, told you. The Messiah just knows these things, Calamus. Right? I yes, of course. Phew. Ah, you were saying about the gates? Oh, right. Looks like I can't get in the city through the gold gate anymore. Do either of you know another way to get in? I remember, I mean, I heard that there's some sort of hidden passage around here somewhere. Oh, the passage to the burial grounds. That's the one. Oh, but I'm not sure if that will be of any use here. Oh, wait, he, rem he mentioned that. But it was flooded. Although the book might help us. It's been flooded for a long time and there's no boat. Not to mention the burial grounds itself is pretty far from the city. That's okay, I would still like to see it. It's the only lead that we have. Alright, in that case. Please follow us. <laughs> it's not like we have any other choice. <laughs> so yeah. Let's... Let's go. At least the code has been affected for now. We usually get to the burial grounds through our friend, but he has been here in forever. Normally this courtyard would be where we meet up. I hope he comes back soon. Who are they talking about actually? Oh, I also want to check out what's... Oh, okay. Nothing really. Let's go inside. This should be it, right? Right here? Oh, I can see a spot already. I should use the book Strange Journal. It's a clover. Yeah. It's a clover. Oh, maybe we should... Ah, uh, there we go. First needed to have the cutscene. A memory or something again? Nico? Nico, what's wrong? Looks like you were about to faint. It's not the first time it's happened. Oh? Earlier I was in the barrens and I saw something like this too. It was like a dream, but only for a split second. Sounds like a vision. Like something a prophet would see. I guess? The robot lady I was with earlier had a fancy word for it though. Wait. Let me check something. Yes, we need to check with the book. Oh, I was right. Huh? The book is glowing. When I had the vision back at the Barons, the book started glowing too. I wanted to see if I could get it to happen again and... Where did you get that? Oh, uh, I had it with me when I woke up in this world. It looks like one of our friends' books. Except it's glowy. That's what the lady said too. Hmm. Dart, let's see if we can do anything with the journal in this room. Yeah, we can do it. We can use it here. And it's also good to know that they are friends with the author of the book, which means we can totally cr uh, trust them. So yeah, use the glowing journal. This should be the place, right? Yes. Wow! How did that boat get here? Okay, I'm pretty sure it has to do with this journal now. The exact same thing happened back at the Barrens. Seriously? The journal was glowing so I wanted to take a closer look at it. Then I found a page that looked like a drawing of the room we were in and then... A minecart showed up. What? What? That sounds freaky. No it doesn't. Dart must have done something. Still... <laughs> Don't question it mate. It happened. It's good for us. Don't question it. Hey, we have a boat now. We can go to the burial grounds and visit mom again. But... Come on, Calamus. Nico and Dart are with us. Well, if Dart made the boat appear, it should be safe. What do you think, Dart? I think you have no other option, so get on it. Here we go. Oh, and this time we do all three fit. 
on to the river we go oh man we can go super fast I really love these little visual I, I can't call them drawings but these kind of illustrations they're so nice so peaceful like the lighting in it it's so cozy Makes you just want to be part of it and just sit there as well. Enjoy the scenery. Oh, we're on the wide open ocean now. Oh, okay. Luckily, we can just go to an island. <laughs> we made it. Come on, Alula. Let's go pay our respects. Okay. So this is also a new area. Some gravestone islands. It's a gravestone. Can we read it? They're all just gravestones, but there is, I can clearly see some engraving on them. Yet we cannot read it or won't read it for some reason. I am gonna check them all. Oh wait, can I get to them first before I go anywhere else? Yeah. Let's go check on, on them. This is her grave. Huh. It's been years, but it's still hard, you know. Mm. Well, I can't imagine. Mm. Lula, want to help me look for some flowers for mom later? Yes. Oh, well, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave them. Gonna leave them be, check the grave. It's just a gravestone like any other. Am I going to check every gravestone? I don't think I have the patience to check every gravestone. So I'm just gonna... Continue and see if we're gonna have to do that eventually. <laughs> oh, there's some dude on this island. Is that Cedric? It's you! I haven't met this character yet. You, um... My name is Nico. Ah! Nice, funny to meet you. No, wait. It's a pleasure to be of acquaintance at last, Nico. My name is Cedric. Ah, there we go. This is the dude I've needed. Oh, I'm supposed to be looking for you too. I'm aware. Prototype had contacted me earlier, saying that you would be on your way to the city. He did? He sent me a message after his memories were restored. Oh. He told me to wait in the city, but I thought it'd be faster for me to pick you guys up. Turns out that was a terrible idea. Pick us up? Wait, you can't fly that plane? What is a plane? That thing behind you! Oh, nice! Oh, you mean the flying machine! <laughs> You don't have an... Oh, well. They're called planes in my world. Oh. At least he didn't give it a city name like, I don't know, a uh, winginator. <laughs> I did not realize they existed in other worlds. Wait, are you the friend that Calamus and Delalus were talking about then? Is this the same flying machine they were talking about? I do not know anyone named Calamus or Alula. I think they're meant to be friends with my father. Wait a minute, there was some kind of um, speculation that the author was able to cross the world in just, well not in an instant, but at a very fast pace. He must have had, uh, he must have had access to that plane. So is this one related to the author? Is the author the father of this character? In previous iterations of the... your father? He was the original owner of the flying machine. It's one of the greatest adventures, actually. Your dad invented planes? Flying machine. It's cool either way. Thanks. But to answer your earlier question, I'm proficient in operating the machine. But something weird happens to the engine when I was in the air, air earlier. I had to make an emergency landing on this tiny island before I crashed into the city wall. You almost crashed? That's terrible. It was not pleasant, I'll admit. 
I wonder if the engine problem has to do with the square particles disruption. I checked, but this isn't any of that square stuff inside the machine itself. But I noticed some islands in the glen are really messed up now. They are- wait, 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 wait. Messed up now? Now as in time? Now and as this character knows that there has been multiple... How do you say it? Playthroughs? <sighs> Guess I should have listened to Proto in the first place. Say, where is he? Oh. He said he was coming with you. Is he still back at the main islands? Oh, actually, back at the Baron's he... There was a cave-in and then a bunch of squares. He and the robot lady. Neither of them made it out. Yup. No. He did give me this, though. This disc he pulled from his head. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. Wow. I expected some more reaction, like, oh no, my friend died. He was like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> That's all we needed. <laughs> the rest of the junk anyway. <laughs> he gave you his main drive. As long as I have this, I should be able to bring him back. Oh. Okay, in that case, it's understandable. R really? It's gonna be hard, but yes. You need all three of us for the big door. The... But first things first, we need to find a way to go to the city. Right. The city gate is kind of kaput now. If this machine was working, we could just fly right in there. I have isolated the issue with the machine, but I can't repair it with the stuff I have on hand. Oh? What's wrong with it? The battery in the engine is dead, and the engine has some gears that need to be replaced. Battery and gears. I'm gonna write that down before I forget it. Since my memory is quite jumbled sometimes. Do you think you'll be able to fix it if Dart and I help you find those things? Maybe. Problem is, the clan isn't exactly a very high-tech area. I'm not sure you'll be able to find anything so specialized here. Maybe the trader has something. We'll try anyway. We can't really do anything else right now. But how are you going to get to the main island now? Is there a way? So, there's not really anything else here. It's a fire! Thank you, Captain Obvious. Looks like a piece from this plane. Is that a crowbar? It's a crowbar. Wait. Wait, this time we still have all our stuff. This time we didn't have to drop it when we... Ooh. That's also new. Now we did get to keep all our stuff. Last time we just had to drop everything when he took the boat. Interesting. Is there anything else on this island? Should we go talk to them again? Do you know where I could find some gears? Yup. Gears? What's that? It's like a metal circle thing with teeth. A circle with teeth? <laughs> that sounds so silly. Like something Magpie would have. Magpie? You know, the trader guy? Hey, there we go, told ya. He collects all kinds of funny stuff. I mean, he even keeps around broken glass and junk. Oh yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. He's such a weirdo. So, we're gonna go to him. Is it okay if I leave you guys behind on this island? Just, uh, trust me, I'll be back. I hope I'm gonna be able to take this just for a ride and get to where I want to go. Wait a minute, I... I'm back here. But, um... Isn't this a dead end? Or so I believed it to be. Maybe something might have changed and now... we'll be able to go through again. The blocks are still here. But maybe we'll be able to get out of this cave, because I actually didn't continue down here. Yeah, I forgot about this. Now let's see if the lady is still here, the um, spirit. But I believe she's probably going to be already dead since... Oh no, she's still here. S Savior, you're here to see me? What happened to you? We already knew. You oh, but yeah, her memory loss. 
Hold on. I need to concentrate. What did she do? The islands will collapse if I don't do something. That's why the vines. She's giving her life for the island this time. You're making the vines grow. Is that why there are vines everywhere? Are you trying to hold the land together? My power is the best I could do. Yes. That's... Should I leave the sun here for you? I know you wanted to see it. Tempting. But I mustn't. The sun brings me comfort, but... Stress is good. For this, fear is good. Makes me strong. Vines grow faster. But... If I'm at ease, the vines might retreat. They're all in danger, savior. The villagers, the children. My final hours mustn't go to waste. The people deserve to live, even if it's just for another day. Oh. So I'm going to talk to her again. Hello. I am um, have something to ask of you. Yes? It looks like most of the bridges around the glen are broken and... That's right, the bridges. You need to cross them on your pilgrimage. Would you like me to fix them? Oh, we can't really ask that of her. Yeah? Is it possible? Hmm. Difficult. Bridges are in very specific locations over water. Need to find the right points. Vines must be very strong, too. An undertaking. Hmm. But possible. I intend to use the last of my strength. Ah, oh, dang it. I'm feeling bad for the second playthrough. We're getting everyone killed. Please stand back. What happened? Are you okay? Are you... Mm, no, she's not. Please tell me we're going to be able to take her... What? That little seat with us again? Please? I am not leaving this island without the seed. Can I do anything else? Crowbar? To save her... Can't use anything. Crap. I hope... I am not leaving this place without the seed. So... I am going. It, may, it might be that she's going to, I, I don't know how to call it, but disintegrate to that, into that seed. But now, for now, she might have fixed the bridge so we can cross. So we can go and talk to that trader dude. Uh, yeah, it's up here. Mm. So let's see if the bridge is fixed. Oh, we can cross here. Oh, <laughs> nope. So up here. Yep, she fixed the bridge for us. Thank you, Spirit of the Vines. I don't. I don't know her name anymore. I'm gonna go to the village first. Hello? The bridge to the forest was just restored. The village of Vacuis should be able to find better fishing spots here. The plant spirit is really looking out for us, isn't she? Yeah. More than you guys know. More than you guys know. Now let's go back to the village oh no there's a sheep on the other side the land fragmentation is happening faster and faster now but looks like the vines are slowing it down yeesh we're actually getting everyone killed is it gonna be worth it even to save well to, to put the light at the end now because it seems that everything is going to get destroyed although there yeah it's all fake in a matter of speaking. My mommy is making food for everyone. 
I want to help her catch fish, but I'm not a grown-up yet. This island has more moss covering than a village did. It would have been nice to build a settlement here. Too late now, I guess. Bear. Oh, you're the trader guy. Oh, that's not as much stuff as you had in the beginning. Sure am. You're here to trade? Because if you are, then I got bad news for you. A lot of my stuff is back at my card, which was sadly abandoned when I was running for my life. So my collection is very limited right now. Managed to grab some of my favorite things before I left, though. Oh, uh, do you have anything like gears? Gears? Like the metal spinny things? I don't think I have anything like that. Wait, I do have this box thing that you can wind up and play a song. That's a music box. Yeah, there might be some gears in there. Although, not every gear is a gear that we need, you know? I mean, a gear for a plane might not be just a gear in a tiny little music box. We might need a, a bigger gear. I bet there's a lot of metal bits in there. Oh, that might work. But I'm not sure if I want to trade it away. It's one of my favorite things. Oh. Oh, what I'm saying. You're the savior. Things have been getting bad around here lately. If I don't help you, I might not even be around much longer. You need this to save the world, right? Take it. Ah, thank you. Can we still talk to him and try to trade anything else? By the way, if you ever see a big guy with goggles and a cool helmet, tell him the trader and Glenn said hi. Also, ask him if he has any more music boxes for trading. Will do. It's a blanket covered in shiny things. Still kind of sad I lost most of my stuff. Can we still get to his stuff? I wonder. What a day. What a day indeed. All your sh all your rams. What? <laughs> what? Hmm. Nothing's biting. You want me to bite you, mate? I can bite you. Me. Sheep. Well, rams. Why do I always keep saying sheep? Wait, where's the... There we go. He's hidden. The vines are everywhere. The plant ladies must be protecting us. Yeah. She protected you with her life. And nobody knows about it. Except we do. Our village was ransacked by the squares not long ago. Most of us made it out alive, but we can't really go back anymore. Oh. Squares are bad news, man. Very bad news. There's two people in here. Oh, hello, Messiah. Would you like some stew? I made enough to feed a whole village. Literally. It's okay, thanks. Looks like Glenn is deteriorating faster than ever now. That's not really good news, you know. Mm. So this is actually just a dead end now. There's no other way. Am I still able to get to that trader's stuff? Because I somehow feel that what he left behind might be as of use to us. No? I don't know, I'm just guessing here. We might be able to get there if we take the long way around. At least, if that's still an option. Wait a minute, there's way more robots around this place than I remember. Would you have to know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? What is a flying machine? Never mind. There was a factory a bit further up ahead. With a battery in there, but that would mean that we would be powering down all these robots. Some vines just grew around this bridge. Almost as if it was an intentional repair effort. Yeah. Almost as if? No, it was. Hello, person. The research station is currently experiencing some technical difficulties. I can tell. Even the bridge on the way there was... Are you sent here by Dr. Silverpoint? No. Oh, carry on then. By the way, do you know where I could find a battery for a flying machine? I do not. Right. Do you know where I could find a battery for a flying machine? I have a battery integrated into my system. 
It cannot be used to power other things. Huh. Wow, that's actually a very useless battery then. Do you know where I could find a battery for a flying machine? Have you checked the power room? <laughs> okay. Anomalies are increasing. Yes, they are. Ah, dang it, I can't cross this one. Hello. Uh, I'm gonna ignore the robot and just gonna take the battery. Looks like a generator. Please do not stand too close to the generator. If you have inquiries, please ask me instead. Okay. Hello, person. This is the main generator of the Glen. Hello. Would you have to know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? It's kind of an emergency. I do not know what a flying machine is, but any sort of large machinery would require a high capacity power cell. For example, the generator in this room utilizes such a device. Oh, right. I almost forgot. We had to fix the battery for this thing in the barrens, didn't we, Dart? If this is an emergency for living beings, you can use the battery from the generator. Oh, wait, but if we take the battery here, all of you guys would lose power, wouldn't you? Maybe Dart and I should go find another one. Negative. This is the only battery in the Glen powerful enough to be used as a standalone unit. If it is a dire situation, then do what you must. Oh. Well, if we have to do it, we have to do it. I guess you have no choice but to take this, Dart? Somehow I feel like we're just ruining this world more and more with the second playthrough. And I feel like this is gonna be a bad ending. Since... What? We'll have destroyed this whole world before we even get to the tower. So what is there going to be left to be saved? Nothing! Nothing! That's the answer. There's nothing going to be left. Dang it. The only hope that we have is that this world exists out of code, so in some way we might be able to fix the code? I don't know, I'm just theorizing at this point. I should also go and check again on that vine lady before I continue back to uh, Cedric. And this is still blocked off as well. Yeah, it's still blocked off. I should really go and check out the vine lady now. I just don't want to leave that seed behind. It's way too important. Spirit lady. I'm back. I hope you are... Well, you're still... This. Maybe I should use the light bulb on it? No. Well, I know I need to bottle and smoke with the filled syringe. Yeah. We've got the bottle of acid. I don't want to pour this on her. I don't have anything else to do here. Dang, I do have to leave her behind like this. I don't like it. I don't like that at all. But there seems to be no other way. So, now we're going back to Cedric to fix the flying machine. So, has anything changed? They're still there. I'm gonna talk to them. We're just about done here, so let us know when you want to go back to the runes. Okay. Soon. Soon. Also, don't we need, like, a kind of runway for that plane to take to the skies I just feel like we need some more place than just this island to I don't know fly <laughs> so let's open our inventory um, so we have a music box that we can take apart oh I think we dropped it anyway we found a music box it should have gears in it right I assume so but this looks like one of the ones that my father made. Your dad makes music boxes too? My dad makes you lots of things. Where did you get this from, by the way? A trader from the village gave it to me. I see. I remember father saying that he used to trade with some of the people here. He'd always love traveling this world, despite... Well... 
Ah, sorry, I started rambling. The gears in there are compatible with the engine. Although it pays me to have to take it apart. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. We still need a battery to get this engine running. Please do what you must to find one. Don't worry, mate. We already got one. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Charge battery. We found a battery. Oh, nice. I honestly wasn't expecting it. It's from the generator on one of the islands. The research station? Yeah. I was powering all the robots there. I felt bad for taking it. Ah. We can always just give it back later. Alright. But that means that we have everything we need for the flying machine. Looks like the flying machine has a chance after all. I just have to assemble the pieces now, but it might take a while. Do you mind keeping me company? No, not at all. How's it going? Slow. The connectors in the battery were not designed for this type of engine, so I have to shift around some of these ports. And there's this ball that keeps getting stuck and... Ah. Don't worry. I'm making decent progress. We should be able to make it to the city by tonight. If you say so. What will happen once we get there? We need to bring Proto back first. And then we need to go and find one more person. You may have already met her actually. The head scientist in the refugee center. Do you remember her from the last time you were in this world? See? This character knows. This is the second playthrough. I... What does she look like? This is going to sound strange, but she's a fox? Oh, it's not the heads. It's the fox. Yeah, we met her in that alleyway and she... What? She, she hid behind a tree? Oh, I do remember talking to a fox at one point. You've met Rue? The memories are still really blurry though. I see. <sighs> it's just hard, you know. Proto told me to think of this world like a dream. But then I got so caught up with. And I just kinda forget. I forgot that everything here is supposed to be not real. And then I remember. And then I just get really sad. I know this is for me to go home, but knowing that none of it mattered in the first place. Am I just trapped here for no reason? Proto also told me not to ask anyone in the world about this, saying how they don't understand. But what about him? How did he know? How do you know? Aren't you guys all supposed to be code? Well... I'm not sure what to even believe anymore. I wish Rue was here. She's so much better at explaining this sort of thing. I'm doing a terrible job of it. Well, you haven't done anything yet. Maybe start and try to explain it? We'll try your best to, ex to understand? I bet Proto was even less tactful, wasn't he? I'm afraid I must risk sounding callous, but... Please, you need not concern yourself with how real everything is for now. The plan is already in motion, we cannot allow for distractions. Father's putting everything into this one last run of the world. The last chance for him to fix everything. Your father is involved in the world machine? You could say that. The acceleration of square particles anomalies was not accounted for at all though. The patch was only built to accommodate the normal rate they appear, but... They're accumulating at frightening speeds now. Proto even lost his body. Thankfully he gave you the disc just in time. So, what happened to him anyway? What happens to anyone who gets caught in the squares? I only know it is bad. Well, you know how the simulation works, right? How everything is code? Specifically everything is generated from pre-existing code. The squares can cause damage to that code. Most of the time irreversible damage. Father has lost some friends in previous iterations of the simulation. Oh, so if you get caught in the particles it causes permanent damage to the future simulations. Hmm. Weren't there... 
We've seen some bots being caught in those particles already. Is there gonna be something changed with those bots? It took him forever to develop the current, much more stable version. You're making it sound like your dad built the simulation himself. Wait, did he? Yeah. But how? If everyone in this world is code, how can he build himself? That's, um, not really what happened. So, what happened? Like I said, you shouldn't concern yourself with... Oh, come on, explain. With... Alright, alright. Did Prototype ever tell you about the old world? N no He did say something about being built to greet the messiah of the old world. I was, um, too caught up with the other stuff at the time to think about it. Yeah, that, that, that was actually all he said, but he didn't explain it. Ah, you know of it at least, then. Alright, here we go. My father, myself, the other two... None of us are part of the simulation itself. Our home world, the real world, was actually destroyed a long time ago. In the years leading up to the calamity, scientists from all over the world tried to stop it, but the outlook was bleak. Wait, so they transcended their physical form and became... Digital? Eternal? This is some kind of... Whoa, this is some kind of philosophy shit. A vague prophecy about the messiah from another world became everyone's last bastion of hope. Prophet Bot, uh, prototype, was built to predict the future about the specifics of this messiah. But as his predictions turned out, the messiah would not have been able to arrive to a world in time. In fact, the messiah would not even have been born before a world ended. Disheartened, most people abandoned their research and resolved to peacefully live out their final years. But some people did the opposite. Even though saving the world was impossible, they didn't want our existence to be in vain. And that's where my father came in. With the last of his resources, he built his most ambitious project yet. The World Machine. A large detailed facsimile of the old world. Generated from a pool of memories collected from everyone he knew. After a heavy amount of modification and an added narrative, my father was able to convert the entire structure into code. How did that code escape the old world? I have no idea. What I do know is there is no equipment back home that was powerful enough to run the code independently. So, aside from the standard hardware, it also needed to borrow the mental processing abilities of a living person. Father used himself for that during the initial testing phases. Like I said, it took many iterations for him to make the experience stable enough. But as you can see, even that's breaking down. Ah. Father caught on to the issue in the last minute, but did not have enough time to fix it. After the world ended, the code kinda just ended up floating in the void, indefinitely. Waiting for a willing operator to install it into their hardware. Uh, we... I've got a feeling like this is gonna be very bad for my laptop. Dart? <laughs> mm. Yeah. The operator, Dart, would then generate the universe using the code to become a god in the process. So Dart was the living person you needed to borrow? No. That would be you. But why me? I should have asked that question a long time ago, shouldn't I? <laughs> yes. Yes, you should have. I do not know. We really need to get going. So we already got some more answers out of this. It's fixed. We can leave in the next five minutes if you're already. Alright. I understand if you're upset. But please, try to understand. My father is doing this to help all of us. And that includes you, Nico. The fact that he can't even go back home. I'm sure it upsets him greatly. It's... <sighs> the world means a lot to him, you know. So... How does flying work? Wait, don't these machines already exist in your world? You should have already known what to expect. Um... 
Sorry, but not everybody is a pilot, you know. Not really. I've only heard about them. They're usually a lot bigger than this one anyway. Ah. Well, a word of precaution before we take to the air. Please try not to panic. It takes a few minutes of getting used to, but it's not that bad once you're in the air. I'll try. Oh, I should probably tell Kalamis and Alula where I'm, I'm going. You mean those two running over here now? Nico! Bad news! The boat's gone! What? It's the squares! It looks like they're headed in this direction. That's fast! Oh no, we're gonna leave them behind. Kalam is right! Yeah? How bad is it? Doesn't seem to be of immediate danger. Then, it is of priority that I take you to the city first, Nico. But what about them? I can make a detour later and drop you guys off in the city too if you want. The city is better equipped to handle the squares, you'll be safer there. You're taking us to the city? If you wish. Oh yeah! Alright, I'll be back in an hour, so please wait for me until then. You guys sure you'll be fine here? Mm-hmm. The squad is still moving pretty slowly for now. Alright then. Guess we'll run into each other again soon. Hopefully. I'm ready to go. Alright. I really hope I didn't... I wasn't supposed to take that seed with me. Because this time I don't have it with me. And I, f I, I feel like this is going to be a bad ending. And so we take to the skies and cross the ocean towards the city. Better known as the refuge area. There's so much happening right now. The world is decaying at a way faster pace. Particles are spreading like wildfires. So what will there even be left to save in the end? As always, thank you for watching. And I'll see you again in the next video. Ciao!